the topic I wanted to get into with most of us are interested in including myself is that what are the key ingredient or key secret to success? Dr. King finds uh, a long-term supporter for our organization, and he's uh, started uh, about uh, ten years ago. And uh, he set up the King Fund Award to encourage those uh, brilliant uh, and uh, uh, contributors in the life science and the health industry. I believe uh, probably um, more than uh, twenty, uh, because uh, we. Each year we have uh, two, and uh, sometimes uh, uh, three. So uh, I think uh, I believe uh, there's uh, so many uh, contributors. Hi, my name is Yang Xiao. I've been working in the biotech, biopharmaceutical industry in the Bay Area for over 30 years, and I'm so glad to um, use this opportunity to tell you how much I admire. Dr. Ken Fong's achievement, not only in science, but also in entrepreneurship, and also the overall contribution to the Bay Area biotech, biopharmaceutical industry. So I feel that as a scientist, uh, he set a very good example for all of us, so that our contribution to the society may not be limited only to science or to entrepreneurship, but also in each and aspect of the society. So here, once again, I want to congratulate Dr. Fang for his achievement as a model Chinese American in the United States. Thank you, Dr. Fang. I'm Jessica Sun. I'm a scientist, and also I've been at CABS for over ten years. King Fang, Dr. King Fang, has, you know, supported us for over ten years. And because of that, we that you know a lot of professionals working in this uh, community related to CABS get supported and get recognized, get uh, appreciated. I think this is a really kind of a very positive thing for us, and we truly appreciate all his contribution, all his effort to this community. We wanted to say thanks to him. Hi, uh, I'm Dr. Scott Liu. I'm the recipient of the 2022 Dr. Kenneth Fong Award uh, by CABS. Uh, I knew Dr. Fong since I was a graduate student at Purdue University. Uh, in the laboratory, we all used reagents produced or, uh, or uh, distributed by Contact. And we all know Dr. Fong is the founder and CEO of, of Contact. So he really had significant uh, contributions and achievements to the entire life science industry, including academic research and also uh, applied research uh, in the industries. And also he's been doing an outstanding job in the investment to uh, fund innovative uh, research in the biotech sector. But the, the issue is this, right? With our track record, even though Gene has a lot of experience as a hero, you actually were a fellow at Pfizer, right? And being a fellow at Pfizer is an unbelievable kind of a job title. Is that right? Yeah, so. That, that's and, just the position, you know, kind of a. Yeah, so it's also kind of an inventor, you know, uh, award. All the kind of award you can give into a scientist when you were at a pharmaceutical company. So the question is that how would people trust you to give you the first round of money? Because it's risky. Well, I can, uh, you know, so Jim and I decided to, you know, to uh, start this company. Uh, so naturally, I, I go through my contact, 
and then obviously they came. Is <laughs> is one of the first I talked to, and uh, you know we also ourselves put some money in to show our uh, you know confidence. But uh, I think we basically we come up to barrier, and then went to Jim's off uh, Ken's office in Palo Alto, and we started to talk about the idea. And uh, Ken basically you know uh, after that discussion uh, told us he sure he was a part. So that basically is a serious A rod. When you do not have that you know, track record, right? Even though you have a credential, it's always hard to uh, raise money. I mean, you know that there's a old saying that you you raise money for the free people, free app, right? You heard about free app? You know what a free app means? One app is your friend, your family. The best to get your family's money, right? The second, the friends. There's the second app. The third app is the food. This <laughs> is a free app. So my my last thing happened to be. That's why another app. <laughs> so that's why you get the money from me. But, but, but I know that I remember that uh, when Jin told me, Jin is very, very modest. Jin told me the success rate of cancer startup is what, 10%, is that right? Not by that time. Yeah. So 10% of the risk, I mean 10% success rate, I, mean, I don't know. Except who would put the money? So, so, but I noticed that she had a credential. Just two drugs invented by her in when she was in Pfizer. So, chance of had to be higher than ten percent. So that's a good estimate in my mind. But anyway, but I, but but the rest is history. Go ahead. <laughs>